Welcome to the disturbing account of Robert Picton, the pig farm killer. Robert Picton, a Canadian serial killer, was responsible for the gruesome murders of multiple women in the Vancouver area during the late 1990s and early 2000s. One of the most chilling crimes associated with Picton is the abduction and murder of Marnie Frey. Marnie Frey, a 26-year-old woman, was known to have struggled with drug addiction, which left her vulnerable and frequently homeless. She had come to Vancouver in search of a better life, but had fallen into a life of addiction and homelessness. In August 1997, Marnie Frey was last seen in Vancouver's downtown east side, an area notorious for its high rates of drug addiction and crime. It was a place where many vulnerable women like her struggled to survive. Unknown to Marnie, Robert Picton was lurking in the shadows. Picton, a pig farmer who owned a sprawling property in Port Coquitlam, just outside Vancouver, had transformed his farm into a house of horrors. He lured women from the streets of Vancouver to his farm, promising them money, drugs, or a place to stay. Once on his property, they became prisoners of his sadistic desires. Marnie Frey, like the other victims, found herself trapped on Picton's farm. Picton subjected her to horrific physical and sexual abuse, keeping her captive for an extended period. She was not alone. There were other women on the farm, all living in a nightmarish existence. Eventually, in September 1997, Marnie Frey met a horrifying fate at the hands of Picton. Her life was brutally taken, and her remains, like those of the other victims, were disposed of in a gruesome manner on Picton's property. The disappearance of Marnie Frey, along with several other women from the downtown east side, raised concerns among friends and family. However, the complexity of their lives and the area's transient population made it challenging to investigate their disappearances thoroughly. It wasn't until February 2002 that authorities executed a search warrant on Picton's farm, initially related to illegal firearms. As they combed through the property, they stumbled upon evidence of the heinous crimes Picton had committed. The gruesome discovery included human remains, belongings of missing women, and items linked to their abductions. Robert Picton was arrested and charged with multiple counts of murder. In 2007, he was found guilty of six counts of second-degree murder, primarily due to the difficulty in determining the exact number of victims and the extent of his crimes. He received a life sentence in prison with no possibility of parole for 25 years. Robert William Picton was born on October 26, 1949, in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. He grew up in a dysfunctional family on a pig farm, an environment rife with violence and instability. Picton's early years were marked by poverty, a lack of education, and a strained relationship with his parents. As he reached adulthood, Picton, along with his siblings, took over the family farm. However, behind the facade of a typical agricultural operation, a dark secret lurked. The farm became a hunting ground for Picton, where he preyed on vulnerable women, many of whom were sex workers and drug addicts from Vancouver's downtown Eastside. Picton's crimes escalated in brutality over the years. He lured women to his farm with the promise of money, drugs, or shelter, only to subject them to unspeakable horrors. The victims were subjected to extreme physical and sexual abuse before meeting their gruesome end. Picton's farm became a grisly crime scene, where he disposed of the bodies in a chilling and callous manner. For years, Picton managed to evade suspicion, despite reports of missing women and growing concerns within the community. The true extent of his crimes remained hidden. Picton's ability to blend into the community and maintain a facade of normalcy allowed him to continue his heinous acts. In 2002, a police investigation related to firearms charges led to a search of Picton's farm. What they discovered was beyond imagination. Human remains, belongings of missing women, and evidence of unimaginable atrocities. The investigation revealed a horrifying pattern of serial killings that had spanned over a decade. In 2007, Robert Picton faced trial for the murders of six women. The court proceedings were a harrowing testament to the depths of human depravity. Despite the potential involvement in the disappearances of many more women, Picton was convicted on six counts of second-degree murder. He received a life sentence, ensuring he would never walk free again. Are some intriguing and chilling facts about him? Robert Picton ran a pig farm in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, 
where he lured his victims and disposed of their bodies. The farm became a macabre crime scene, and the pigs were often fed the remains of his victims. Although Picton was convicted of six counts of second-degree murder, he is suspected of killing many more women. The exact number of his victims remains uncertain, with estimates ranging from 6 to 49 or more. Picton targeted some of the most vulnerable members of society, primarily sex workers and drug addicts from Vancouver's downtown east side. He believed that their disappearances would not be widely noticed or investigated. Picton had several close encounters with law enforcement during the years he was active. On one occasion, he was arrested and charged with attempted murder, but the charges were later dropped. This allowed him to continue his killing spree. While in custody, Picton made bizarre and disturbing statements, including claims that he ground up human flesh and mixed it with pork, which he sold to the public. There is no concrete evidence to support these claims. Robert Picton's trial became one of the longest and costliest in Canadian history. It lasted for over a year and included extensive forensic evidence and testimony from numerous witnesses. Despite being suspected of many more murders, Picton was convicted of six counts of second-degree murder. He received a life sentence with no possibility of parole for 25 years for each count, ensuring he would spend the rest of his life in prison. In prison, Picton was placed in solitary confinement for his own safety, as other inmates posed a significant threat to him due to the nature of his crimes. The Picton case had a profound impact on Canadian laws related to missing persons and the investigation of serial killers. It prompted changes in police procedures and led to increased support for marginalized communities. Robert Picton's case remains one of the most notorious and disturbing in the realm of true crime. It has been the subject of books, documentaries, and extensive media coverage continuing to fascinate and horrify people around the world. Robert Picton's crimes serve as a chilling reminder of the capacity for evil within some individuals and the profound impact their actions have on the lives of their victims and the communities they terrorize. As we conclude our exploration into the horrors of Robert Picton's life, may we remember his victims and reflect on the enduring impact of his crimes on society.